Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm your host, Adrian F.E., and on this spotlight, I'm feeling a bit nostalgic, right? And the reason why is because I don't know how many of you have seen this, but back in the day, Sony used to run these ads in the mid-90s to like 96, 97, right? And it was to really hype up the release of the PlayStation. And so it had this dude in this giant orange costume, right? With a megaphone talking trash in Nintendo's headquarters. And like at the time, you know, a little smaller me, I had never heard of an echidna before. Shout out to Knuckles. And just like that, I had never heard of a, a bandicoot before. Like, what is that? It's not in my zoo books, so I don't know what it is. But the cool thing is they're bringing those ads back. And the reason they are is because they're looking to bring back the glory to the original infamous trilogy. By giving us Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time by Toys for Bob. Check it. A great power has awoken. I fear it portends an event of reality shattering proportions. Crash. Crash. Crash! Wake up! Whatcha collecting? Crystals, gems, masks. Everything getting harder to find. Everybody jumping out of the mind. Everybody going out of the skin. See, we get to the end, but that's where we begin. You feel it? Mannequins, and we breaking the mold. Breaking out, and we breaking the codes. Similar to the Jackson Soul, to the depths in your head, so you take explosives to get it out. I guess that means I'll have to kill you. Huh? Our enemies are already moving against us. We will prevail. We're only here to make you go! <laughs> so, here's some fun trivia. The developer for this game, Toys for Bob, is the same team that did Spyro Reignited Trilogy, if that helps give you some confidence, because if they can take an old mascot like Spyro and reimagine him, make him look good, you know they're going to do the same thing for this game. And they did. And on a personal note, they also made this old PlayStation 1 game called Pandemonium, right? And I had completely forgotten about it until, like, just now, looking up and stuff. And I say that because I've forgotten about that, but it's hard to ever forget about Crash Bandicoot. And part of development to assuage longtime fans was to keep Crash 4 faithful to the first three entries. I mean, if you watch the trailer, Crash still runs straight forward through levels while navigating all manner of platforms and pitfalls, collecting wumpa fruit, destroying crates, you know, all the good good we're accustomed to seeing. But there's so much more added to this game to reinvent its gameplay for 2020. Like it's genuinely exciting to talk about. Like for me, it's because there's so much in this game that the trailer doesn't fully like realize, which is why we do this in the first place, right? So first off, playable characters. Crash is paired with Coco, and the two can be swapped between to play throughout every level based on your preference. So if you want to play one level as Crash, you can do it. If you want to play as Coco instead, you can do that. Now accompanying them with their own individualized levels are Dr. Cortex and Dingodio, who play completely differently than their contemporaries. I mean, first off, you can see Dingodio with the heater in his section of the trailer, and Cortex uses his to change enemies into something more useful, like a platform to bounce upon. He also has this, it looks like a Luigi Smash Brothers E Honda headbutt attack for movement. It looks pretty cool. More importantly, Tana is back alternate reality Tana. And the best part is she's no longer this damsel in distress fodder. She has a unique move set too and her own levels in which to utilize them. Now for Crash and Coco, we're used to the whole Burugada of the Aku Aku mask from the previous entry. 
cool thing is that Crash 4 brings new quantum mask for these dimensions. That's what we see in the trailer, you know, with the whole gravity manipulation, the time slowing, the reality manipulation of the fire exhaust, and the purple gliding session that takes place. And all that sounds very Thanos-esque now that I say it out loud. It reminds me of the whole Infinity Gem storyline saga thing. And they did take some artistic liberties, right? Did you see the visual trip at the end of the trailer? So that's the inverted mode, and that's unlocked later on, but it gives you different art styles and a mirror mode for the game. New way to play, right, even when you're done. And you also can unlock different costumes too. Did you happen to notice Dino Crash, Chicken Suit Crash, and my favorite, New Japan Pro Wrestling El Phantasmo Crash with the neon blinders. The point is, Crash 4 is more than what it seems. It's a return to greatness with proper additions to satisfy both completionists and casual players, which is why it offers modern and retro difficulty settings. Either way, I think you should give it a look, because if you want to, you can play as an Eastern Bard Bandicoot right now. So pick up your copy. Rated E10 Plus for everyone 10 and older.